again, good friends. Welcome, new subscribers. I'm Brian from Apex Detail. I've been looking forward to getting this review out to you guys, the Meguiar's M110, the Super Pro or the Ultra Pro Speed Compound. We're going to use it in some real work situations. We're going to break it down on the test panel. We're going to rate it. I value your time as much as mine, so let's get started. Meguiar's M110 includes some abrasives. They had the dual action polisher in mind while formulating. Also works well with the rotary. It is 32 ounces for a little over 28 bucks. Formulated to have a long open time or cycle time with very low dusting, able to remove rids, swirls, and minor to moderate imperfections. We'll put that through the test today. We'll start off easy on the 110. Uh, we'll remove some minor imperfections here on this hood, some swirling, scratches, a little bit of staining, and if it performs well, we'll move on. I have a little test area masked off for the 110, and we can see the product doing some work. All right, let me grab the camera, bring you guys in closer. You can see the turnaround on the panel itself. We went from a dull, scratch, swirled finish with stains to a nice, clear test area. The compound did very well. All right, very good. I am now eager to see what the rest of the hood will look like, so I'm going to quick go ahead and correct it. No dusting whatsoever so far. The residue is easy to remove. It's a user-friendly product. It has a long cycle time, long open time. Very good so far, very impressed. There we go, I've cut the entire hood. Just needs to be finished. And uh, through the cutting, I could tell you it does a decent job. It could have a little bit more aggression, but it does finish down well. The only thing, it really left behind were some real deep stains and etching, which I will have to wet sand, uh, and that's normal. Uh, I didn't expect uh, any more or less from this compound. It's done a great job, and uh, we're gonna move on. We're gonna step it up. We're gonna give uh, the formula a workout on the next hood, and we'll see you there. Before I break out the PDR kit and start working on some dings, let's see what this formula can do on scratching, marring, staining, all sorts of stuff. Just overall dullness needs a major restoration on the clear here. Uh, so let's test the formula in a little test area right here. We'll stick with the Lake Country pre-wash low lint lambs wool pad. But we'll put it on the rotary this time. I love to cut with the rotary. It's the best tool, 
best instrument to cut with and then switch over to your finish um, with a dual action polisher with a shorter throw and it makes for a quick effective correction. I don't have a ton of pressure down on the polisher. The Lowland pads do run cooler, so you can speed it up a bit and slow down your arm motion. And the area will stay nice and cool while you do get some correction done and your arm speed will be effective. Okay, so using the 110 with the rotary and the Lake Country low lint pre wash pad, let's uh, remove the residue. Again, piece of cake to remove, user friendly. Let's remove the tape. And as you can see, it's, it's done a pretty good job. I mean, uh, this hood is a mess. Needs a lot of TLC. The only thing it left behind were the deep scratches right here that I need to wet sand. Again, totally expected. No surprises here. And maybe I give you a better view right here of those scratches that are left over. But overall, a very good job on this trashed hood. You can see how dull and hazy it is and just how the cutting portion cleaned it up with the 110. Now we're gonna take it to the test panel. We're gonna run it through the same routine. We've uh, run all the cutting compounds in our cutting compound series. We're gonna do um, some wet sanding. We're going to section off five areas with different sand marks ranging from 800 grit all the way up to 2500 grit. Here are the five sections from 800 grit all the way up to 2500 grit. Now, using the same polisher, the same pad, the Flex XFE80 3 inch polisher, just the standard orange foam cutting pad, 3 inch, we're going to do the same routine that we've put all the other compounds through, run a section or a path down through all the sand marks, make a return trip, the same speed arm movement, same pressure, and uh, we'll see how this performs, and we'll compare it to the other compounds that we've put through this routine.
Despite the dust from the panel itself laying around, there's no dust from the compound itself. We could see the residue from the trip down and the return trip. Wiping off the residue, again, very easy. Now we're going to take a look at each sand mark section and see what kind of correction the compound did as it passed through. And it blazed through the first few sections as we would imagine. Testing the other compounds, some make it through the 1500 section to start to fail in the 1000 grit. Some will go and blaze through the 1000 grit and they pretty much all fail in the 800 grit section. We're not testing compounds that are made to really correct that kind of default or imperfection, but it did very well. It went through the 1000 grit. It went in and had a great attempt in the 800 grit section. Okay, we're gonna work on these last two sections uh, one more time, the 800 grit section and the 1000 grit section. We'll work them for an extended period of time and we'll test the cycle time, we'll test dusting, and we'll just see what uh, kind of improvement we can get out of these last two sections. Nice long cycle time. It made marked improvement in this area. No dusting. Uh, did very well. Very impressed. For the final thoughts segment of the video, a very impressive compound, a nice long cycle time with very little dusting. If I could ask one thing of it, it would be to be just a little bit more aggressive and not have the smat abrasives break down so quickly but this is very good at a very, very good price point and I highly recommend. Where does this stand when it comes to our podium and our honorable mention section? Well, let's take a look. What we have here is Sonax Cutmax in the top spot. A very close second to me is Angel Wax Resurrection. We have a nice big uh, honorable mention section with great compounds that I wouldn't hesitate to recommend to anyone really. The biggest surprise to me so far was the Wizards compound. And we do have some movement, as you see, on the podium for the first time in months, really. It's been quite stagnant. We'll put M110, or I will anyway, in my third position, or the bronze position in, in my environment. That's where it would fit. If you have any questions, and by the way, guys, that brings me to a point. I do not get notifications of comments or questions made in the comments section on older videos. So please leave those in the first two or the last two posted or published videos and I'll see them and get back to you. I cannot possibly go through all those videos to see if there's new comments made. Um, I am getting through all the uh, vo um, voicemails, emails, messages, and texts that you guys leave me. And I will get back to you if you leave your questions in the uh Last video posted. It makes it a lot easier for me and I can answer them for you. Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you guys in the next video.